Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Pokemon Power Nuzlocke. Let's get straight to it then. And yeah, last time we uh, beat the first gym leader who uses dark types. Um, and yeah, unfortunately we lost our little clover. Uh, but yeah, um, first of all we have a, uh, a word with Caroline and um, the other one whose name I can't remember right now. And then we get introduced to this guy again. And then we get a uh, Cantonian starter Pokemon from this PP, and we end up with a Bulbasaur! And from the seams of it, it's not a usual poison and um, grass type Bulbasaur, so I'd go ahead and call him Pumpkin. So then, of course, because we've got another starter Pokemon, Caroline heals us straight away, and then she wants to battle us, so. And she sends out our Charmander first, and we send out Moss. And we go ahead and Let's start the battle off with a scratch just to see how much he does. It does hardly anything to the Charmander. He uses Calm Mind. Okay, then to raise up his attack and special attack. So we go ahead and try and use a Razor Leaf. And that takes down the female Charmander. So now she wants to send out her Heatream, uh, which I guess is the evolution of her starter Pokemon from this region. So we decide to swap Pokemon to Pumpkin. To our newly acquired Pumpkin. And here comes a Heatream, which looks kind of cool. Uh, so we go ahead and use uh, use Mud Slap right after he uses a Defense Skill to raise its defense once more. And Mud Slap doesn't really do that much damage, but it is super effective, and it does manage to lower its accuracy. So we just go ahead and use another Mud Slap right after it. She uses Ember on us, which takes Pumpkin down to nearly half. But one more Mud Slap just you. Lowers his accuracy again and takes him nearly down into the yellow as well. But now I've decided to swap Pokemon again, this time into Nocturne. <clears throat> and as we do that, um, the Heatram uses Ember. It doesn't really do that much to Nocturne, thankfully. So we just go ahead and use another, another Growl to lower its defense attack. And the Heatram creeps on missing its Ember, so we get in another peck. Bring it down to just about half health before she goes for another defense skill, raising her defense one more step. So now we just can use Peck. But now I have an idea to use Hypnosis before she gets another Ember, knocking Nocturne down to half. But of course, Nocturne's attack missed, so we're just going to keep on trying to use Hypnosis. And we managed to pull it off. So now the Heat Trend asleep, so now we're going to have a safe switch or a heal if we want to. But I'm just going to try and use Astonish now just to see how much it does while he's asleep. Oof. We just pull off the critical hit peck, knocking her into the red. And she wakes up and gets an Ember attack on us. Ooh, knocking Nocturne into the red. Well, one more peck locks her critically low. So yes, I'm going to switch Pokemon because I know that the Heatrem is faster than Nocturne. So yeah, I'm going to switch in Nocturne too. He tries to use Smog, but it misses, so I'll go for another Mud Slap. <laughs> she tries it again and misses, so we actually hit. And the Heat Rim is finally down. Oh boy. And the third Pokemon she wants to send out is a Bar... Barrel Bill. So I decide to keep Pumpkin in and try out the newly learned Bulldoze. So the little goat is faster and hit us with a double kick, but Pumpkin does have weak armor though. The lowers his defense, but raises speed. Oof. And I didn't realize this, but weak armor procs every time Pumpkin gets hit, so it keeps on losing defense, but but his speed rises. Which could be a bit of an issue. Oof. Oh. And it turns out they have weak armor as well, so we hit for quite a nasty bulldoze, bringing him down into the yellow. But because of weak armor, we're able to finish him off with another bulldoze. And now she has another one, which is a spar off again. So yes, I do decide to switch into moss. So of course we decide to go for a scratch, bring him down into the yellow. Just before the spar off uses gust, doing about a six damage to moss. So we just go ahead and use another scratch. Oof, bringing the spar up into the red just before he uses another gust bringing Moss nearly into the middle but we do use another scratch and knock it down and that is Caroline beaten so now after that she heals us again 
and then tells us there's the next gym is in Surrey City so she goes over there and now unfortunately we do have to lose a team member now yes we've only just got her but it is still sad say goodbye to little Clover who wasn't with us long but she pulled us through most of the dark gym so unfortunately with a heavy heart we need to say goodbye uh, but yet with that done we can exit the Pokemon Center now and go to the next area so after moving around a little bit uh, we find out that the next area is Sere City which is all the way from Nomad City through the cave and over to there so that's where we're gonna go next and then we finally make our way back through the cave find some cool Pokemon along the way and now because I forgot before uh, we didn't make our way actually to the farm so we need to go to here and get ourselves another new encounter which is another Diglett but because of Dupe's claws um, we are allowed to knock this one out because we already have one and the next one that we run into is another Barry Bill so I decide to catch her and the next little girl that we run into is another Barry Bill so I go ahead and catch her eventually after a few turns and I call her Strawberry and now that we've got that encounter out of the way, we can make our way out of the farm and onto the next area. Hopefully the next town. So after we've done that, we make our way to the next area. So we make our way into the next area. After making our way through Route 3. And we find ourselves on Route 4, where we could get our next encounter. We turned out to be a sea dot which turns out to be a sea dot that I managed to catch easily and I name him Corn. so after that we battle some more trainers along the route Pumpkin evolves into Ivysaur and then we uh, finally make our way out of Route 4 and then we find ourselves in Surreal City and after doing some looking around I heal up my Pokemon and I notice that there's a small beach area to the side so we're going to get an encounter there which turns into a male crawfish who we catch after a couple of turns back and forth and I name him Mizu so then we head to the Pokemon Gym uh, we beat Kilo in an easy fight so there wasn't really much point in thing. he heals up our Pokemon and then we go into the gym which we find out is a psychic type gym uh, so I swap Pumpkin with Moss and then off we go and our first opponent is Psycho Loud and he sends out his male Esper and of course I send out Pumpkin first and I go for a Brutal Swing just after the Esper uses Leah to lower Pumpkin's defence Knocks him down into the red, so we just go for another brutal swing. After the Esper uh, tries to use the Psychic Voice, which doesn't really do that much, so we managed to take him out. And his next Pokémon is a Drowsy, so I prefer to proceed to use Brutal Swing again, which is a one shot this time. And that's the first trainer beaten. So then we teleport to the next one, and here we have Psych Psychic Betty, who sends out her Esper as well. And I just do the same as before, stand out Pumpkin. She manages to get a disarming voice off, knocking him to nearly half. Pumpkin uses Brutal Swing on her and she is a one shot. Now my next Pokemon is Togepi. Who I'm really curious about because it's not normally a Psychic type. So I proceed to use Brutal Swing again just to see how much it does and it's not very effective. As the Togepi tries to use Sweet Kiss, it misses, so of course I just try for another Brutal Swing, knocking the Togepi down into the yellow. And then I just continue this and for the rest of the fight. Um, and then the Togepi uses Charm, which of course lowers Pumpkin's attack harshly. Uh, but yeah, luckily Togepi's in red, so one more Brutal Swing knocks her out. And that's more or less how the rest of the trainers are leading up to the gym leader and here we are the gym leader uh, 
So after a few more trainers, we make it to gym leader Nancy. And here we go. And her first Pokemon is Icy. Start off with pumpkin. Now first of all we'll go for a brutal swing. After the ice he gets in a few fury attacks. And of course every time he does it hits pumpkin, pumpkin's weak arm ability goes off. Which lowers his defense but raises his speed. Brutal swing and that one shot the icy. Now, our second Pokemon is called Moth Knight, who is adorable, by the way, should I say? But yeah, go for a brutal swing straight away, knocks him down into the red. And then the Moon Knight goes for Signal Beam. Which knocks Pumpkin down into the red, so we'll try and go for another brutal swing. Uh, but, um, but Nancy heals, so it doesn't knock out the Moon Knight. And then yeah, I decide to heal up using a super potion. And of course now to heal up a moon eyes again just afterwards, so I go for another brutal swing to see if I can get the KO. But I don't, so the Pokemon uses Signal Beam again. So we knock out the Moon Knight, and the next Pokemon is Sirenade. So we manage to knock out the, Mo the Moon Knight, and our last Pokemon is Sirenade. I recognise from Cassette Beasts! And it's awesome that it's been made into a Pokemon for this game. It's really really cool. And yeah, Sirenade being psychic type makes total sense. So we use a super potion on Pumpkin straight away because I've no idea how strong Sirenade's going to be. And the Sirenade uses Chatter, which is about a quarter damage to Pumpkin. And after that Pumpkin's confused but I go for a brutal swing. Oof! He accidentally knocks himself. Hits himself a pick, uh, but he hits himself for confusion. Sirenade then uses an uproar to knock Pumpkin down into the red. And so I have to swap. Sirenade goes for the goes for an uproar, which of course is a critical hit. So it acts, so it knocks out Nocturne, unfortunately. So I send out Moss, and the Sirenade goes for Chatter, which of course causes confusion. for a razor leaf which knocks the sirenade down to nearly half so now I think I have to make a tough decision here to heal up pumpkin and just after that happens sirenade goes for another chatter knocking out moss so, pum so pumpkin comes back out and I decide to go for the brutal swing Sirenade's faster and goes for another uproar. 
and we land a critical hit on the Siren A, knocking her out. Oh man, that was a messy one. And of course we get the cassette badge. As well as TM Siren. 